There are two major ways to define a sequence, or to, to spell out, to show what all the values of a sequence are going to be. Uh, one way is with an explicit formula. And an explicit formula basically gives you the value based on its position. So, in other words, position is how what element it is in the sequence. If it's the fifth term, the eighth term, the twenty-sixth term and that is represented by the n. So if we want to know the fifth term, we would put in 5 for n, and put 5 for n into the formula. Recursive formulas, however, uh, were reliant on the previous term. So the previous term needs to be known in order to find the next term. Let's take a look at how these work. To find the first term of a sequence using an, an explicit formula, what I do is take 1, 1 for first term, put it in for n, and solve. Notice that I end up with a 1 minus 1, or a 0 times 6. So my first term is really just going to be this. And of course we can do this for the subsequent terms. And here's some more examples. In each case, to find the second term, we put in 2 here. To find the third term, we put in 3. The fourth term, we put in 4. And it gives us the value of any term in that sequence. For recursive, part of the definition actually is the first term. So that's given to you to be 4. The next term, in this case the second thing in the sequence, is then based on the previous thing. This a sub n minus 1 represents the previous thing. We can see that because a sub n minus 1 in this particular case is a sub 2 minus 1. a sub 2 minus 1, of course, 2 minus 1 is 1. So here we're actually referring to a sub 1, the previous term, a sub 1, which is 4. Therefore, a sub 2 is 4 plus 6, which is 10. This formula, it essentially just tells us to get to the next term, you add 6 to the previous term. To get to the next term, you add 6 to the term which came before. So to get to the third term, we add 6 to the second, which gives us 16. And to get to the fourth, we add 6 to the third, which gives us 22. So those are our two definitions. Remember, explicit formulas are based on position, based on the n, whereas recursive formulas rely on the previous term as represented by a sub n minus 1.